Hello again! Welcome back to Let's Play Exile. We are still here in the Nephilim Fort, and I am having all kinds of crazy lag here uh, on this particular recording for some reason. I'm not sure why that is, but I foresee a lot of editing in my future because I will not subject you to the lag which I am experiencing, so I will edit this to be a little more smooth. I uh, got another one of these trash pits here. But here, this has another interest point. The body of a Nephil has been disposed of here. You can't tell how it died, but you can see its pouch is still intact. The pouch contains gold, a reasonable amount of it. However, you now have a good guess of what killed the Nephil. A snake slides out from under a nearby pile of rocks. Uh-oh. <coughs> Alright, so that didn't do very much damage, but it did poison me. So I'll have to take care of that after I take care of this snake. That was easy. And it drops some food. Snake meat, no doubt. Uh, I think I'll do a full cure poison rather than a weakened poison just to make sure. There we go. Another wall corpse here. This place is absolutely just filled with wall corpses. Alright, so this is that little pool back at the entrance where we came in. So we're going to head west from there this time. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Yeah, the lag in here, I don't know why. I haven't had this kind of problem before quite to this degree. I always have a little bit of lag that I edit out, but it's uh, pretty bad right now. But hopefully that will correct itself. Wound, I say. Wound is such a great spell. It has consistently high damage. And it never misses, which is great. And actually, Robin, now that we've leveled him up, uh, his arrows hardly ever miss now. If you notice, we seem to have hit whatever critical threshold it is that uh, he pretty much hits everything he attacks now. And again, we're fighting really low level opponents, so that probably factors in as well. Three doors down here. And that sound is from this door. One lone goblin. A bit of gold, not much else. Now this door over here is locked, so let's try to pick it. If you can pick it, it's better to do so, save magic. I almost feel bad for this guy. He's just chilling in his little tiny room. And here I rush in to murder him. Oh, he isn't hostile. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I don't have to murder him then. So, who is this guy? An archer? A man in tattered armor, clearly underfed and has been beaten as well. I'm so glad to see you. I'm Daniel. I was part of a group that raided these caves. We thought they didn't know we were coming, but they must have seen us, because they nailed us when we entered the main cave. I don't know what happened to the others. I'm not sure where the cave is from here, just inside the entrance. There's a spring in the center with a pool. Since you're here, you must have seen it. Indeed we did. And as I recall, there's only a couple of goblins there, so if your whole party got taken out, that's pretty sad. There were about 20 of us. A bunch of them died in the ambush, others hid in tunnels. This place is riddled with hidden passages. Two of us were captured. Ah, uh, so I guess that explains all of the wall corpses. It would be these guys that ran away and hid. And... He said there were two captured, so we can assume the other one is in this other room. And it looks like he is, but he is not looking so good. In that he is a corpse. 
Writing here, scratched into the wall, ambushed in entry cave, Nephilim and Nefar too, split up, ran, lots of secret tunnels, some hidden them, hope rescue in time. Sadly not, my friend, sadly not. Uh-oh. It's like some... oh. <laughs> well, this is obviously not an ideal place to fight here. I'll at least try to get Robin out, see if he can get an arrow through. Ah, good. And I would love to fireball them since they're clustered together like that, but I'm guessing he's not going to be able to see. Or she, I should say. Yep. Right, well, I guess Blade is going to do all the work here. Ooh, two hits. That wasn't very nice. Robin always hits now, but it's not for very much damage. That did the trick. And I don't know why his archer is attacking me in melee, but I'll take it. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Maybe he's out of arrows. Maybe that's why he attacked me melee. Fortunately, I have some more. There we go. Sweet. Ah, good little stack of gold there. My light spell is fading again. And if we head north out of here, this will put us right back where we were before. So I may as well recharge that light spell. But yeah, this the whole of this fort is basically explored at this point. There's one last thing that we're going to need, but after that, next episode, we're going to head out of this fort finally, and very likely we will go and explore a brand new town up in an area of the game that I really don't remember too well at all. So, should be fun, and until next time, thanks for watching.